Hi folks, Hector here from thefanrate.com for our first Loot Crate unboxing. Actually, this is the first unboxing that we've ever done in regards to a crate. Um, we have not opened any other crates like Marvel Corps or, or you know, uh, you know the brick box that comes from BrickFest. Um, I know we have a couple of those in the line that we want to review. Uh, this is the actual first one. Um, so we're really excited. Uh, it's for uh, September 2015. Um, it has a summon theme. Um, there was some, you know, images online that were posted by Loot Crate that gave, gave us clues that what might be in it. Um, I think we might have some Warcraft stuff in here, maybe some Pokemon stuff in here. Um, but I'm not too sure, though. I'm, I'm very curious to see what's inside, and I'm kind of excited. Um, I would like to point out, though, that this box is very small. I mean, it, it, it's the size of a small kid's uh, shoebox. Uh, my hand's not much smaller than it. Um, so I'm fairly surprised. I'm assuming that, you know, this is just one of its kind. Uh, I'm sure they have different sizes. I know last month they had uh, a mug, uh, a Carnage Venom mug that they did give out. And uh, it would obviously not fit in here because I've seen it up close um, at, at, uh, at a Comic-Con. And it was definitely bigger, or at least wider than this. Um, so um, let's get right to it. So yeah, it's basically the box, obviously. Uh, and there's uh, a code and, you know, the Loot Crate, found uh, Loot Crate and, you know, logo everywhere. I'm kind of surprised that it came this way, um, and I meant I mean it in the fact that Loot Crate's printed all over it, so it's easy to see. Um, I know it makes people nervous uh, that live in apartment buildings like myself, um, where um, you know they, they leave this in the front steps, so anybody who knows Loot Crate or who might be shady that's walking by can see it, or somebody in your apartment building you might not know who's shady can see it and just snag it up. So it worries me a little bit that they just show up like this with a shipping label. Um, I know Comic Cartel actually sends them in bigger boxes and hides their their cartel boxes in within another box, so um, so no one knows what's in there. Um, uh, so this kind of frightens me a little bit, sort of like big Amazon boxes that show up in, in, in the front doorstep. So I might just start having these sent to my work. Um, but anyway, um, let, let's get right into it. So like I said, this is it's very small, but um, yeah, let's 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 open it up. Uh, you can see I already cut it. I did not have my razor blade with me today, so I just ended up cutting it with a knife and before it recorded. So, uh, ah, there you go. So, just like we said, um, there is a Pikachu. Uh, seems like to be a hat. Or some, yeah, it's, it's one of these um, um, snow caps uh, that we see at, like, they saw at Walmart and, like, at, you see a lot of, uh, you know, it's apparel stores for kids and stuff like that. I've seen it, seen this one in particular. I think I've seen it for like $10, $15 online. So here in itself, there, you know, the value of the box is already kind of paid off. Um, here is um, what appears to be Warcraft or World of Warcraft. Yeah, it's just, well, actually, this is from um, Blizzard. Uh, it is Heroes from Warcraft. It's a Hearthstone. Um, it actually appears to be a, a stress ball. Uh, I actually have plenty of stress balls that I've gotten from conventions that I've gone to, so I, I'll probably give, give this away. But it's kind of cool. It's a little heart stone with the symbol, and uh, you know, you just squeeze it, keep it on your desk or whatever, uh, and give it to somebody or whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, <laughs> I can already tell a couple of things here that, that I'm digging. Um, here's the um, exclusive button. Uh, this one actually has it for. Uh, has the summon theme, well, which I, it's like a little logo that they created. Has a little pick, a couple of Pikachu's in there, and a few other things. And it has uh, September uh, 2015 uh, summon um, text there, and it says Loot Crate, so it's kind of cool. Uh, some people are probably big on collecting these, so there, there, that, there's that. Uh, here's this cool, interesting box with uh, with uh, a, a Buddha Homer and sitting on a donut. So I like that. So I probably have to tear this open. Yep, so. Press the box. There it goes. There's uh, Homer Simpson sitting on a donut. Um, it looks like it actually moves, but it doesn't. It's kind of glued together. So, I mean, and they piece it together from three parts, um, but it doesn't have any extra, um, you know, kind of, there's no joint. So, it's just a one solid pop figure. Uh, not pop, I'm sorry, vinyl figure. Um, though his head does look a little crooked, so they kind of glued it on a little crooked, as you can tell. Um, so that's neat. That's cool to have on the desk. And oh, underneath the plastic, uh, we do have his, the Buddhist uh, charms. Or uh, one is a charm, and the other one's a pretzel. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, and all right, so oh, here's the exclusive. So um, they did promise exclusive. 
uh, as they usually do. Uh, there it goes, Lucre exclusive. This is from uh, Greenlight Collectibles, and there's a few logos on there, Warner Brothers and GM. Uh, this is the Supernatural uh, 1967 Chevrolet Impala uh, sports then I'm assuming it's like a car that they summon or whatnot or like a like a supernatural car I I'm not up to date on the show. I I, I used to watch it I've seen seasons one and two, but after a while like I kind of I kind of you know lost interest But I know I have there, there's fans out there. and There's a big fan base um, I'll probably give this to to one of my friends. Uh, I have friends who are, are big fans of this I might kind of raffle this out or just give it away um, or I can just toss it on my shelf with all my other collectibles um, you know, it's nice to it's nice to once in a while get an exclusive. I know, um, you know, exclusives, you know, should disappear really quick at stores. And when you have a subscription like this, um, they're coming straight to your door. So that's kind of neat. It's a nice little car, a nice little die cast car. A lot like, you know, Hot Wheels size, uh, about like, you know, two and a half inches. Uh, it's kind of neat. I like it. Um, but um, I don't know. I might give it away. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, looks, uh, this is a nice little cardstock. At first I thought it was an envelope, but it's not. A uh, nice little gold emblem, and it appears to be uh, claim your free card pack. Um, so but basically, uh, yeah, you scratch this off and uh, you go online and um, you you get a free card pack to, um, I'm assuming to, to Hearthstone or whatever the game it might be, but um, yeah, kind of neat. And let's see what else. We have, uh, I believe we have a mobile game coupon actually uh there's no coupon on this um it just kind of tells you to go to lucrate.com uh, summon book um uh, for instructions on and how to download it uh, i'm not sure if it requires you to sign into lucrate so there's you know it might be just exclusive to lucrate people or it might be just exclusive to anyone who finds this website and goes to it uh, or this link at least um it is master summoner free mobile game so i don't know uh, i guess we'll check it out I like these two little characters there. That's funny. All right, so that might be it. Here is the uh, the Loot Crate uh, magazine. Um, here is the, the ad I was talking about that was showing online where they showed Pikachu for a while, and then they, I, I stopped seeing him. I don't remember seeing Homer either, but I might have missed that. And there's a few other characters here that gave you clues to what would be in it. Of course, you know, it's never going to always be the character that you see. Uh, but, you know, in, in this case, it was. We got Pikachu. Unless there's other uh, other hats or other accessories that we didn't get um, um, that we got in this box uh, like you know like a different variety like they did with the carnage cups or the carnage and venom mugs um, they either gave you venom or carnage it was kind of random so I have to look online um, here's uh, the contents a uh, real nice uh, card Scott little magazine thing here this is kind of neat um, let's see here folks with their crate stuff you know a little bit of a uh, comic strip here um, let's see. A little diagram with uh, Pokemon characters, as uh, Charizard and a few others. Neat, neat. Like that. Up the loot cast. I'm assuming this is questions for the podcast. More on Supernatural's uh, Car Summoner. Uh, here's the super awesome Mega Crate wish. Everybody wishes they can win it. Look how amazing this looks. Uh, I thought you win the actual car. I'm assuming that's just the collectible. Uh, and a few other things you can get. I mean, obviously the coolest thing here is the PS4 and uh, perhaps this awesome uh, gaming chair. Or oh, the iPad, of course, I'm, I'm not big on iPads, but people love those, so. Um, here is Level Up. Here's this, actually their monthly subscription to their apparel. Um, they have uh, several sections. Uh, I know they have uh, wearables and accessories and like socks. <laughs> um, so you can actually pile these up and, and have them sent to your home. But, you know, it's random, so don't expect uh, anything particular unless, you know, if you're picky, then I wouldn't recommend this, but it's kind of a cool deal. Um, here's more. Actually, we're looking into the crate, so here's uh, details on a September crate. Uh, here's uh, details on the Impala. More details on the Homer Buddha. Uh, details on the uh, Pokemon hat, uh, or they call it the Laplander hat. And uh, here's the button as well. Here is the Hearthstone uh, Foam Stress Ball, and here is the Hearthstone Collectible uh, Coin and Card Pack Code. Okay, so it's, it's Hearthstone. So, all right, so that's the, the coin is kind of cool. I, I don't think it comes out. That would be kind of neat if it did come out. I mean, now that I think about it, I, it does. I think it does come out. Oh, my goodness, that's cool. There you go. Oh, check that out. There's a little bit of plastic on there. So, 
<laughs> Look at it, because I noticed a one and it's cracked. I don't remember seeing a one. Yeah, it's it's a coin. Uh, that is cool. I like that. And it's I mean this is solid. So it, it's not like uh, you know a piece of plastic. It, that's neat. So I like that. I can't wait. I, I'm glad. I, I, you know I'm gonna get to keep that. Um, let's move forward. And um, I think that's it. Uh, these are the cards that are in the in the picture for for the mobile game here. So I'm wondering if uh, that's part of it. Does give you the, the, the you know the uh, ad, uh, the same um, kind of uh, link here uh, to go check it out. I'm assuming this is uh, these are sort of like playing cards. No idea. I'm gonna have to check it out. Um, but that's basically it. Um, so let's let's break it down. We have this awesome box, which I assume you can flip inside out. Um, there's like cutting areas and stuff like that. So I'm assuming you can flip it inside out and make a little box out of it, which I'm gonna try in a little bit. Um, we got this little awesome Homer with his accessories. We got this button. Um, we have the stress ball. We have the Loot Crate exclusive um, diecast supernatural car or the Chevy Impala. We have this nice little cap. And we have the coin with the uh, code. Uh, we have this uh, uh, the Master Summon game here, Summoner game uh, link as well. And we got the booklet. Um, obviously, the booklet you know you're not gonna you know consider as you know part of uh, the merchandise. But uh, I guess overall here we're looking at about thirty to forty dollars worth of merchandise. Uh, I know the hats ten to fifteen. You know the the, the Omer's probably five to ten. This probably a few bucks. This is probably the biggest collectible, maybe like ten or fifteen dollars. So we're looking about four dollars worth of stuff or twenty dollars worth of loot crate. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I guess I guess the only thing I have to say against it is that you never know what you're gonna get. But I guess that's the exciting part. Um, I'm kind of glad we got the Pikachu because this is something I'm gonna give to my son. I'm obviously not gonna wear this. I'm 33 years old. I would probably either get beat up or laughed at pretty hard, and I'm not gonna walk around with this, but. Um, it's very cute. Um, my wife might like it actually. Um, you know, wear it for Halloween or something cool. Uh, and uh, my or my son might want to borrow it. Um, kind of neat. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. That was our our uh, first unboxing of uh, Loot Crate. So that's kind of neat. Thanks for joining us for that. I'm really excited. Um, we're we're looking forward to opening more on bo more boxes, more crates, uh, other kinds like uh, the Lego one they have and and Marvel Corps, and there's a nerd one, and a couple of, there's a few out there now, uh, pretty much copycats, because uh, I know Loot Crate was one of, one of the first of its kind, um, but we will be doing more, and um, and if you do like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at The Fan Ride, um, or you can go to our website at thefanride.com, follow us on Twitter at The Fan uh, Facebook groups, The Fan uh, we also have a Podbean at thefanride.podbean.com, uh, or at the website, we have our podcast, we have a weekly podcast, uh, we have reviews. We have all kinds of reviews, toys, uh, you know, you name it, videos, movies, uh, TV shows. Uh, you know, check us out. Uh, but thanks a lot for checking out the video. Uh, you know, uh, looking forward for more unboxings and, you know, have a great week.